Hello my friends and welcome to episode 17 of our Football Manager 2022 save with Chelsea. This of course was our beta save. We've continued on into uh, the second season because we've got Mbappe on a free week. got some other decent sign-ins and you know we're trying to make this work. We have some big January business. We've got ends first of all, two centre-backs an area that I highly prioritise and by the way I hate January we could have got Jules Koundé for 40 million if we'd bought him in the summer instead we had to trigger his release clause now he's a very very good defender is he a £123 million defender I don't think so but he was also of the three options that I gave myself he was the cheapest I hate January I really hate January because you just have to overpay for anyone that's not transfer listed it is ridiculous but hey ho he's worth 191 to 230 9 million apparently. I don't know where that comes from. 16 caps for France. Solid defender at 24 years old. Good head in. Decent jump and reach. Good vision. Okay off the ball. Great tackling. You know, all the stuff that you want. We got Nathan Ake back for 5.75 million as well. Of course, homegrown player at the club. We don't really have a problem with Chelsea with homegrown players, but uh, with the outs, I needed to bring another centre back in. And Nathan, Nathan Ake was transfer listed by City for £5 million. He'd started a transfer window transfer listed for 10 And I felt 10 was too much. On deadline day, when uh, we had lost two centre-backs on deadline day, he was available for 5 And I just went, this is a no-brainer to bring him back to the club. Is he an upgrade on Organi and Saar? I'm not convinced. But he'll do a solid job. He can cover in at left wing back as well, if required. So, the outs... Um, and it's been a busy month. Jorginho went to Real Madrid for £27 million. I know there'll be Chelsea fans very unhappy with this. He wasn't really getting games, you know. You look at that, six games this season. Oh no, that's Real Madrid. Um, never mind. Uh, Ten games this season. Two of them off the bench. 11 in total with eight off the bench. It's not great. His contract was up at the end of the season. I wasn't going to renew. And we got thir just under £30 million for him. So I'm happy with that. Kovacic wanted to leave. We've got £28 million for him from Liverpool. Again, I'm fairly content with this. Um, probably undersold these two a bit. You know, we could, if we were playing, we would have got more money. Blah, blah, blah. But I'm content with it. Jude Soups, Stoops Bell, I've got no idea how you're supposed to pronounce this, is away out on loan. I was debating promoting him at the first team and using him as a backup striker, but I felt a loan deal would be right for him. We managed to get £5 million for Rugani. It is profit. It's not a lot. I'm slightly disappointed. Given that he was actually playing for us and he'd done well, I'm slightly disappointed that his value was as low. And uh, Roma came in from Langsar, who wasn't transfer listed, and I decided, you know what? Nine million, he's yours. And off he went. And that's why we then had to get Nathan Ake. Because my plan was to get a centre back in, and we would sell either Rugani, Sar, or Umtiti. We ended up selling two of those three. And um, we had bids without transfer listing them for those two. It just made sense. Um, I'm telling you, I'd probably be my preferred of those three to sell, but you know, we didn't get a bid for him. We got a bid for the other two. Happy days. Nathan Aki, as I say, coming back in will do a job. So the schedule Arsenal was our last game. We then lost to Leeds 2 0 in the FA Cup first round. We battered Leeds and lost this game. Look at the XG, look at the shots, look at the position. Well, the possession was the same. All of this, we absolutely battered Leeds and just couldn't score. I gave Mbappe a warning after that and basically was like, right, no, I'm done. The performances increase or, you know, I'm just going to drop you. Moussa Dembele was playing well. I'm happy to put Lukaku out on the right, Dembele through the middle and run it. Um, and I will be the guy that drops Mbappe. But he responded. He scored against City, the opening goal. Dybala scored Lukaku with a hat-trick. The front three purred like nothing before against Man City and we won 3-1 Kevin De Bruyne getting a consolation from a free kick we then beat Aston Villa eh, Aston Villa sorry West Ham 2-1 Kylian Mbappe with a brace Fernandes has got one back to make it a bit edgy Liverpool was a game of two halves we scored early with Tomori um, disappointing to lose this one we absolutely bossed the first half we had a goal disallowed um, for me clearly onside VR disagrees said that the player was in front of the goalkeeper um, he wasn't. Was he in an offside position? Yes. Was he ever active? No. Liverpool came out in the second half and battered us. And then Mason Mount with a 93rd minute own goal costing us a point. Disappointing. A bit unlucky from Mount. There's not a whole lot you could do about it. 
93rd, remember that by the way, 93rd minute own goal. We then played uh, Leicester. Kylian Mbappe scored, and then Tamori scored a 94th minute own goal to cost us two points. That's four points dropped in two games to 93rd and 94th minute own goals. Again, look at the stats, fairly even. A draw probably was a fair result at the end of it. It said that we should have won, however. We then played Brighton, a comfortable 3 0 victory. Reese James, Sully, and Mbappe all on the score sheet. It was then the turn of Newcastle. Tamori scored. Moussa Dembele scored. Kylian Mbappe scored. Gabriel Barbosa got one back at 2 1. Uh, Vicinio got one back in the 89th minute. And then a 93rd minute own goal cost us two points from Tamori. So that in four games we have dropped one, two, three, f five points to 93rd plus or later own goals. Very, very, very frustrating. We then played Southampton. We won 3-2. Uh, we went 2-0 down. Frustratingly, and I don't quite know how. Poor defender for the first goal. Uh, Bergo, it was a whip ball in. Missed by two defenders. And Bergwijn was at the back post to tap in. The second one was a long shot. Where it's literally... It's one of those long pyros has no power on it. And Mendy somehow doesn't save it. Um, very, very poor from Edward Mendy, that one. Mbappe got us back into it though. Sully equalised on the stroke at half time and then by Dybala scored just at the other side at half time and then Southampton were just flat after that. We did pick up a couple of injuries. We gave uh, Lukaku painkiller injections to get through this game and then we'll take him out of the team and hope that he'll be back for the next one. Um, but he will miss a number of number of games. Um, Dolly Gilmore is out for about 10 days, I think it was, so he might be fit for today, but I doubt it. We're probably looking more like Villa for Billy Gilmore back into the team. Nick Walsh is the referee here. Good Scottish referee that. Say good Scottish. Good by Scottish standards referee that. Um, let's get pitch side for this game against AC Milan. Here we are. This is the team. I meant to hit record and then didn't. But uh, to show you the ins and outs. But the team is Edward Mendy in goal. Sully Tamori Kunde in defence. Rhys James and Alfonso Davies on the flanks. Kante and Mount in the midfield. Gilmore was fit enough for the bench, but not for to start. Mbappe, Lukaku, Dybala up top. With Dybala, by the way, nine man of the matches in 27 Premier League games since moving through the middle. It's not our top goal scorer. That's going to Mbappe and Lukaku, who are way out in front in terms of goals. But the amount he assists, the great passes he does, is unreal. Lukaku on those pain-killing injections, of course. Also retired from international football, so we'll get rest when international breaks are on, which is great for us. Um, so happy, happy days. I was surprised to see him retire at 29 or whatever it was from international duty. Um, looks like Milan's starting up quite bright here. And Kunde equal to that one. Kante bringing it out. Launches it, finds Mbappe. I was about to say, why is he launching it? But he has found Kylian Mbappe. Can he find Dybala or Lukaku in the middle? He can only find... Roman Ogley right in front of him. Dangerous ball across the face of his own goal. Dybala was there, couldn't do anything about it. Clearance is panicked. It's back in from Mount to Dybala. It's in. The linesman's ran back, so it's a goal. Paulo Dybala, 1-0. In the San Siro. Panic. Criminal ball, that, from uh, Roman Ogley, by the way. The goalkeeper then has to panic. Mount just straight back in. Dybala makes no errors. Mason Mount is playing out of his, well, say he's playing out of his skin. He's probably the third best of our midfield sort of three options the now. Or four options if you include Tolisso and five if you include Conor Gallagher, who is now registered. But there's just that niggling thing that just doesn't sit right with me with him. That I still prefer Kante and Gilmore. But. You know what, when he's came in, he's done well, and I cannot criticise him. Brami, Davies can't win that, Rafael Leao, putting it over for Milan. We need to just keep our heads here, guys. Tamori, Kunde, Alfonso Davies, down the flank for Paolo Dybala. Oh, it's poor from Dybala, Mount had no chance of getting to that. Come on, guys, where's the press? There we go, there we go, make him launch it. Kunde picks up, Davies. Oh, lovely ball from Davies into Dybala. Can he find the cross? It's a decent one. Kier oh, equal to it. Calabria brings it out. Long highlight this. Mount, Davies. 
Kunde. Please be our highlight. What a ball, Mbappe. It's our highlight. It's off the poster. Oh. And we can take a breath. It's cleared out. Mount backtrack and picks up. Brings it into the midfield. Driving at them. But at Barim rather. Brings it away. Kunde. Davies. Mount. What a ball from Mount. It's Dybala. It's Mount to Dybala again. <laughs> what a cheeky finish from Paulo Dybala. His 14th goal of the season. It's the assists that are getting him his uh, come up, uh, rewards. But what a ball again from Mount. Just waits till Dybala makes his run. The fullback on the, I think it's Theo Hernandez on the other side. Mark and Mbappe. Caught going too far deep compared to the rest of his line. Leon Dybala all the space in the world. And Mike Manigan just commits. Dybala waits for him to commit and tucks it over him. Dybala for the hat-trick. It's off the bar. Second woodwork of the game. Wow. What a game this has been so far. Half an hour in. 2-0 up. Dybala and Mount are running the show. Whipped in. Lukaku. Oof. Close, close from Romelu Lukaku. They've still not had a shot on target. That's a stat I like, but they're still dangerous. Sully away, Calabria keeping it away from Dybala. Kier brings it down to Barim. Decent ball in. They're, told you they're still dangerous. It's still going about Mount and Tomori combining to get it away. Dybala. That's got to be a free kick. It is indeed. Calabria clattering into Paolo Dybala. You see that just from those two big quick fire shots on target that Milan's XG shot up. We cannot underestimate this Milan side. Here we go though. Here we go. Into the second half. Kelly Mbappe not having a great game again. We will, though, however, bring off Lukaku for Dembele. While I remember, with corners, because I never remember we do this, striker central for 14. We'll bring Kunde across here. Rather than uh, Mount, uh, Dembele, because even though he scored a few corners, he's not the tallest. Getting Jules Kunde on that side will make a difference. Uh, in that sense. They battle it also knackered. He's on a hat trick. I don't want to bring him off on a hat trick. We don't have a striker on the bench anyway, so it's irrelevant if I want to or not. Uh, we'll bring on Hudson Adoy for Reese James. Freshen up there. And we'll bring on, I guess, Connor Gallagher for. Can he? Freshen up the midfield. It's the first game Connor Gallagher's had. This season, because obviously he's not been registered in the league or the Champions League until January. Um, but he is now registered. He is now able to play. He will play in all competitions because we need the rotation option there. Um, hopefully he can do a job. Essentially, this is his six months to go develop, shine, prove himself as a Chelsea player for, I'm going to say, for the rest of this save. But this save's done at the end of this season. So it's... It's a bit irrelevant, but it could prove to me that he's worth signing in a future save. Um, Theo Hernandez trips Mbappe. It's only a yellow card offence, to be fair. I'd be surprised if it was any more than that. A bit shocked that his highlight showed it. Here, oh, it's over, thankfully. And we are going to win this game 2-0. End of the game. Now, blow the Ref, hello. Just launch it. Ref, hello. Ref, come on. That is out of play. He's got to blow it now. We're now 40 seconds over. And the ref's still going, despite it being out of play. And Bappy, out of play again. Ref, you've got to just blow it. There we go. 2 0 victory in the San Siro. Good win and good performance. Gives us all the chances in the world of going through. We'll show you the league table quickly. Here it is, league has pretty much gone now. We are, you know, 13 points behind. Liverpool just struggling to drop points and with silly points dropped in the last few weeks, they have pulled away a lead. 
we're still ahead of City. So I think for the rest of this save, we're going to focus on the Champions League. Now that means that we can't tell you when you were going to come back because we don't know when the next Champions League game is because we'll come to the uh, quarterfinals next. Um, and we're out the FA Cup, so we can't even just look at the FA Cup because we choked that. So we'll come back for the Champions League quarterfinals whenever that may be, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button. Leave some comments down below. Uh, hit like again as well. Dislike if you haven't liked it. Let me know why. And I'll hopefully catch you all next time.